right guys it has been a long time no see and yes i am here i am filming a video it feels weird because i haven't done that for a long time but yeah hey i'm abby nice to meet you but that is a man's voice i do not know and i thought i would do a nice video I don't know where I was going with that. And it is what is in my travel makeup bag. I have done this video before. Um, did it a few months back now and I will leave a link down below. Gotta admit guys, it's quite full up. A little bit overcrowded and there's still stuff on the bed. This is my travel makeup bag. You will have seen this before if you've seen my gifts and pieces haul. Again, I'll leave the link below for you. Make it easier for all of us here. This is the makeup bag I picked up off of there. It's got foxes on and it's just quite cute and it's also the perfect size kind of it could be a little bit bigger but who's complaining to i'm joking to store all my makeup in for coming home for a week and the first thing i have bought with me is my simple uh kind to skin plus moisture oh, protecting moisture cream now i have also spoken about this before i think it was in my everyday summer makeup um i just really really like this uh, I like simple skincare. It's the perfect base to put on before you apply all the makeup. And it has SPF 30, which doesn't so matter now it's not summer, but even like through the clouds and stuff, the sun still shines and can still affect your skin. So it's always good to have an SPF on all year round. And this has it in there, so it just makes it so much easier. And this is perfect for that. It's not too heavy and it has a really nice smell as well. The next thing is a foundation, obviously, and it is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hours with Comfort Serum Foundation Skin Perfecting Full Coverage Foundation. I'm not sure what the actual name is, but that's just to make sure of everything is said on the front of the bottle. Um, I spoke about this on my blog and basically raved about it because I loved it so much. And I can tell you that like a month on or a few weeks on, I still love it just as much. This is now my daily go-to foundation. I don't use anything else at all since I have purchased this. This is amazing. For me, this offers not crazy full coverage, but the coverage I want. It will cover up my redness. I have redness here on my cheeks basically and on my forehead and my chin and that just covers it up it evens it out with the rest of my skin for me it's a really good color match i'm using 100 ivory lovely dewy finish you can probably if you want that dewy finish you can get away without powder in i just powder anyway and it does it's just a really nice foundation and yeah i mean i've never had trouble with rimmel foundations in the past i really love the rimmel ones so yeah i really like this and i'll definitely recommend you checking it out the next thing to go alongside that foundation is also a Rimmel product and it is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. Now if you've watched my videos for a while you will know how much I love this. This is probably the one concealer that I have continued to rebuy and literally I now don't use anything else. Again I just love this. This has got like the anti-fatigue effect. I'm nice. It's kind of dewy. It's not like, it's not one of those concealers you put on you like blend in or whatever and then it, it looks really dry or looks really cakey this is just nice it covers up dark circles nicely um covers up blemishes nicely for me it just does the job and i really like it and yeah it goes really well with the foundation as well what else is in my bag magic up it is soap and glories archery brow tint and precision precision pencil Yes, this is what I use for my brows, especially when travelling because it means I don't have to pack a brush and like a powder. It's just all in here for me. I don't use the pen end which oh, looks like this. It's literally just a very thin like felt tip. Uh, I don't use it personally because I find that it applies really like patchy. But apparently Soap and Glory have reinvented this so now it comes with a spoolie on the end of it which I think is better but I have this version. Uh, but the wax end is the end I do use to get these them brows. Uh, for me this is amazing, I really love it. It offers a little bit of colour but you can build it up which is what I like. So some days I just want a tiny little bit just to kind of fill in um, and hide the patchy bits and that can do it. But other days I want to go for like, you know, a strong brow, you know, to keep my eyebrow game good. Uh, so I will go full out. For eyeshadow I always bring back a palette of choice. And the one that I've chosen to bring back this weekend is probably my current favourite. And it is the collection Little Mix Palette All About The Eyes. Now you guys know anyway that I completely adore Little Mix. But yes, they brought out a makeup collection with collection, um, I think last year. And then they brought out one this year, and which included this palette. This palette is amazing. I feel like it's got all the colours you need for a good 
day um, eye and a good nighttime eye. It's so easy to take this and kind of do whatever you want with it. Yeah, it's just, I just really like it. And what I like about these the most is that the colors are so strong and so pigmented. Believe me when I say you only need the tiniest bit with these. They're really buttery and probably one of my favorite palettes I have ever had to come off the drugstore. The quality is comparable to the Naked palettes, which I we all know how much I love them. Get even if you don't like little wings, I would definitely go ahead, pick up this palette. It's so cheap, probably I think it's about Three or four ninety nine, something like that. It's ridiculously cheap, and it is amazing for eyeliner. I like to use the Soap and Glory Super Cat liner. This again is a felt tip style liner, which you guys know I love. I don't bother with none of that liquid eyeliner; they make that way too hard for me. This allows you to get really, really easy eyeliner. Allows you to get the perfect cat eye, um, which is my favourite kind of eyeliner look to go for and it is amazing. For mascara, I brought back my Reve uh, Benefit even, Ooh, ben yes. Is this, are you videoing? Yes. <laughs> is this your top? No. <laughs> Mama Lily, everybody. Mascara of choice I bring back is from Benefit and it is their, their real mascara. Uh, I never liked this mascara actually, when they bought it out I was really, I just really did not like it. Recently I found it in the back of my collection, just unloved, and I thought I would try it again and recently I have been really really liking it. For me, I have really short, stubby, barely there lashes, um, so for me I need quite a high impact mascara to even make them show up. And this really offers that, it gives me nice full lashes, um, it's not as wet as I remember it being, it's got the little ball at the end of it which means you can get really into the inner corners to get those lashes to give you kind of a nice full effect and yeah I just really really like it to be honest and I can't believe I didn't like it when I first got it um, and it's just really good and they also do do I don't have it but they do a travel size mini of this which is a lot cheaper than I think the £19.50 mark that this is at so if you want to try it have a look for the mini version they sell it in boots. In terms of bronzer I have brought back the Body Shop Honey bronzer this is probably one of my favourite bronzers um, for a nice natural look. In the summer I was like over the top with the bronzer, I went cray with the bronzer. But now it's a little bit colder, I'm a lot more paler. Um, I just use it really lightly just to add something to my face. I feel that without bronzer now I feel like I don't have no like dimension in my face anymore. So I still like to use a little bit of this every single day and this is my favourite because it, as you can see, is really 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 light um, which is great because this can be used for like an all over bronzer to like really warm up your face or if you kind of like keep building up it's a great contour colour. What I like about this as well is that it hasn't got like an orange undertone in it, it is just a nice warm colour so perfect for contouring. In terms of blush I brought back two of my favourites that I love to use and um, the first one is the Bourjois Cream Blushes, um, the front's faded off of mine and this is in I think it was number two. I can't see because it's very, but I believe it's number two. I'm not sure if they have a name. But this is just like peachy colour, which is really, really nice. It's like a peachy colour, but it's got some pink undertones in there as well. I like to use this for then when. Blah, 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 blah. I like to use this for when I just want a bit of warmth to the cheeks. It's quite natural. Um, this is also a cream to powder finish, which isn't my favourite in terms of cream blushes, but it looks really nice and it lasts all day when you don't want strong colour, but you want a little bit of warmth on your cheeks. I also bring back my favourite MAC blush, and this is called Easy Manner, and this is just a really, really light pink. Again, it's just for a nice flush of colour. I don't really like strong blush colours, so I always go for the light ones, um, and this one from MAC is amazing. Um, yeah, you can't really go wrong with MAC, I find, in terms of their blushes, powder blushes, so yeah. Lastly, in terms of actual makeup, oh no, I've still got lipstick to go. Oh. Anyway, for powder, you all guys know this, use my Revlon um, Stay Matte Powder. I don't need to talk about it, you guys know I love it, it's amazing. In terms of lipstick, I always bring back more than one option. I, you know, you can never have too many lipsticks. So I've gone for three because one's novelty, which I'll show you in a minute. And the first one I've gone to is one, again, that if you guys see my video, you know how much I love. And this is Topshop Saint, which is a really nice uh, nude. Yeah, I find that this looks better on me with a tan, but I still really like it because the formula is really amazing, really creamy. One that I have actually uh, mixed it with today, and again another one of my day-to-day -day favourites, is my YSL one, and this is the Rouge, Rouge Flopped 
in number one, which I believe is called Nude Beige. This is just amazing. I love the YSL packaging. I would buy all of their pack uh, lipsticks, sorry, just for this packaging. It's amazing. You feel so glamorous getting it out of your hair back, you know, like on the tube, like, just apply my YSL lip lipstick, guys. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? It just feels very glamorous. It looks amazing. So, so, so pretty, and I love it. And the colour as well, it's like a light pink, <clears throat> but it's not like a Barbie pink. It's very, like, the beige, nudie pink. Uh, which looks amazing at time, but I also like applying this over the top of either two nudie nudes or any dark, uh, really kind of bright out there colours to bring it down a bit, it's just amazing. I also brought back a lipstick from Kiko and um, I'm actually trying it out at the moment because I only got it the other day. And it is from their Ace of Diamonds collection, which I believe is their autumn winter collection for this year. And this is number 32. I don't, it does have a name, but it's not on the lipstick, it'll be on the website, I'll leave it below if I can find it. And this is just quite a bright corally pink. I feel like that would have been a really perfect colour for summer. Summer has been and gone, people. It, it's, it's left us. But it can be pulled off really nicely for winter as well. And I really like it. The formula is amazing. It's really creamy. And this as well, I have found lasts for hours. Even um, like drinking and eating, this lasted for a really long time, which is cool. Which is cool, cool. That was a mixture between cute and cool. And the last thing I bought back in terms of lipstick, which I said is a novelty item, is a lipstick from Claire's. And believe me, I have not bought makeup from Claire's for a very, very long time. But this is a black lipstick, which I thought would be really, really cool for Halloween. I've got a Halloween party tonight. I wasn't kind of sure what look I was going for. So I bought some black lipstick in case I wanted to use it. It was only like £3.50 and... So I'm not that fast if I don't use it, I'm sure I'll find some sort of use for it. The day that I actually travelled here, I went, I had loads of time before my train, so I went shopping into Superdrug, and I only came out with three things, which isn't too bad. They are pamper-related items, so now that I've said that, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. And they are from the Zoella range, and I am so excited. Um, Zoella was literally, and I'm not exaggerating when I say this, was the first blog that I followed on Bob Lovin'. Uh, blog loving, sorry, blogger, and um, is actually she and her blog are the reasons that I started my own blog and then ventured onto YouTube. Everyone loves Zoe, uh, she is probably like the YouTube icon. For me, she's a big inspiration, I'll highly admit that. Um, she's had an amazing YouTube career, um, which I hope continues to keep going for her because, you know, at the end of the day, I just love Zoe. And so yeah, I couldn't not go and pick up some of the stuff from her pamper range. I didn't pick up all of it, I picked up three items, um, you can see one, one burn in the background there. The first one is the Soak Opera, which is a bath soak and shower cream. Now I really like these in general, and generally with these kinds of items, they leave your skin feeling really, really soft. Um, and they're really, they're really good if you have sensitive skin, at least I find, and Zoe has put on the back, or whoever has written on the back, uh, keep calm with this beauty in a bottle bath soak, vitamin E, shea butter and aloe extract, soften and condition the skin while the delicate fragrance claims, uh, calms the senses even with soothing floral notes, say hello to your new bubbly bestie. So normally what you do in the bath, you just pop this under warm water and kind of give it a few little bubbles, um, or you can just apply straight to your skin in the shower. The next thing I got was the uh, Zoella Beauty Fizz Bar because I haven't seen anything like this before. Obviously we've seen like the whole um, like lush bub like bath bomb stuff like that but in terms of an actual fizz bar I think it's a really awesome idea. Um, when you open it, um, it looks like chocolate. Uh, hence the kind of all over it, it says do not eat signs on it and this is not food, do not eat. Um, can't imagine it would be too nice. I mean I'm yet to try eating it but I'm not going to eat it. But yes, I really love the concept of this. You just break off a bit of the chocolate fizz bar and you put it in your bath and it's obviously going to bubble up. And you can drop one to two cubes into warm running water to start your fragrantly fizzy bath. So yeah, I'm super excited to try this. The thing I got is what you can see in the background there. I'll pick it up very carefully because I don't want to burn myself. And it is the Zoella Let's Glow Fragrance can uh, Candle and I think a little bit scared of the flame right now. Uh, I think if Zoe was going to bring out a pump line, it would be wrong of her not to have brought out a candle, basically. So yeah, that is burning nicely. Right there. Yes, everybody, that is what was in my travel makeup bag. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It would make an Abby very happy. And yeah, I will see you guys real soon. Bye.